She probably feels like she should Yeah, be. she's having some kind of allergy problem. Her nose is running. Her head's exploding. You know. Well, How did she describe that. it? Like she... Oh, Drank a half a gallon yeah, of NyQuil. Yeah. Without ha drinking NyQuil. <laughs> yeah. She hadn't had any medicine, but uh, she feels like she had a half a gallon of NyQuil. And uh, as you guys know, when, when that happens, your head kind of feels disassociated from the body. It, yeah. A little bit it. of... I get that even with just taking NyQuil <laughs> as it's prescribed. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, I only take gallon. NyQuil under dire circumstances. Yes. It's like Benadryl, man. Once you take that stuff, you're done. <laughs> that's it. Good night. But Have a nice the day. nice thing is, is when you are in that type of state, mm -hmm. um, a, a NyQuil or Benadryl-induced coma, yeah. so to speak, mm -hmm. you really don't care. Yeah, so that's much. the entire point. Like, hey, I feel better because I'm not I'm not conscious anymore. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I'm, I truly do believe that that's the point of it. And I am having serious issues with my chair today. Oh, user error right there. That's PebCAC. No, I don't think it's PebCAC. I just think I'm just having issues with it. PebCAC. No. User error. No. Read the, read, read the manual. <laughs> RTFM. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, so <clears throat> if you guys didn't catch the uh, the intro this morning, we have our official numbers for last month. Yeah, for the month of May. For the month of May. What might they be, you ask? Well, for the month of May, we reached over 198,000 people <laughs> for the month of May. <laughs> we downloaded the stats, we're like, what? Uh-huh. <laughs> Un unreal. I, I, it's absolutely unbelievable. 198,000 people. I saw the numbers before you did. Yeah. Because you were outside taking care of a, an issue yes. out there. <laughs> and uh, so I came sort of skipping out <laughs> with this big <laughs> cheesy la, smile la, 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 on my face. <laughs> 198,000 people. Holy cow. And it's all because of you guys. Yes. Every time you like comment and share the facebook algorithm is like oh people like this and they start sticking it out there further 198,000 times they did that thank you thank you thank you wow that's absolutely incredible we love you guys thank you so much keep up the good work it's awesome it is 198,000 it's last quarter last quarter we were averaging 90,000 people a month yep. This is the first month of this quarter. Oh, 198,000. This is the second month of this quarter. Is it the quarter? second? Oh, okay. Yeah. So last April quarter. April was the first month of this quarter. May was the I, bleh, Business I stuff. I know, that's, that's why I do it. <laughs> 198,000 people. That's insane. It is. It's great. And, uh, I can't wait to see a decimal point in there. I know, right? 198 million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. All thanks to you guys. But you, you may have noticed the title here. The title says, Freedom Studios Gone? Double or nothing. So uh, we were talking about this over the week, uh, this this week, that uh, we had this week to try and make uh, make up enough fundage to keep Freedom Studios yep. alive. Well, unfortunately, we didn't find any businesses that were uh, interested just yet. We have some that are that are thinking about it, and they'll be talking to us next week. But that didn't help us for this week. So... We have a anonymous person that uh, that likes what we do so much. They actually donated the money we needed to keep Freedom Studios alive, and yes. her name is Karen. Yes, 
Yes. So everybody give a shout out to thank Karen. Thank you very much, Karen. Yes, thank you. Everybody give a shout Whatever, out to Karen. Whichever Karen it is out there. Yes, we, yes. We, we have a bunch. <laughs> yes, but give a shout out to Karen. Say thank you very much for saving Freedom Studios for this month. However, on the flip side of that, uh, yeah. we had a choice to make here at Freedom Studios in LPNN. Do we keep <laughs> the studio alive or do we keep the homestead alive? <laughs> And so it was a very hard decision. It's like, well, can we do this? Can we not? Well, we believe in you guys. And we know, we know that you guys are amazing and that everything we do helps you guys out. We're trying to get that news out there for you. We're trying to get the entertainment out. We're trying to build a network of amazing people just like you. And you know what? That's worth it to us. So we went double or nothing. Yep. We'll either make it this month or we won't. You guys uh, follow the journey and yeah. see what happens. I think we're going to have a lot of behind the hats. Yeah, behind or, the hats be like, Or, ah! or um, Lee's Landing. Yeah, we're in Lee's Landing, yeah. yes. Lee's Landing, for those of you it's that like don't know. It's like the behind the scenes, behind the scenes? Well, kind of. Lee's Landing <laughs> is the group that's attached to LPNN here that I created, and that's where we do other things that may not necessarily be appropriate for the main Facebook page. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gina says, thank you, Karen. Kimber says, thank you, Karen. <laughs> yes, thank you, Karen. <laughs> yes. It's amazing. It's it's a, we, we couldn't believe it. You know? It was great. It, yesterday was a rough day. It was. It a was. very rough day. It was, oh. <laughs> it was very stressful. <laughs> very stressful. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. So we had to make that decision. We've made the decision. We're going double or nothing. We're all in. Blaze of Glory, what? Yeah, Blaze of Glory. <laughs> we're going to flame up. Now, LPNN will still be alive, but at this point, right. if we are not, if we don't make it in the next week or so, we're going to be doing it out of the back of the LPNN mobile. <laughs> <laughs> LPNN 1, we'll be living in the back of it. You guys can say yeah, hi. Yeah, Roxy 1. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, if, if you know any businesses out there that are interested in advertising, we got a week uh -huh. to figure this out. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'll be seeing what it looks like in the back of a vehicle while we're trying to sleep at night. <laughs> With two dogs. Yo, oh, God. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> That's beautiful. So we'd like to thank you guys again. You guys are absolutely incredible. Every time you like, comment, and share, Facebook spreads the word even farther. And we did reach 198,000 people for the moment. Oh, That's just mind-boggling. <laughs> Yeah, I just that, wanted to share is, that with you guys. I thought you'd get a is. kick out of it. And like I said, Karen, wow. Yeah, <laughs> really. Thank you. That, that's, Thank you. It's Talk bad. about guardian angels. No kidding, right? I know, right? Whew. It just wow. <laughs> <laughs> so she saved our bacon for she the did. moment. She did. She did. Very so much. We'll, so. we'll have to see what goes on. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess we should probably move on into the morning show, huh? Maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> We, were already uh, we got a bunch show. of new people that joined, so um, we, we just want to let you know uh, the pizza fairy is dead or, or in a coma in a, in or, or a, something. Yeah, she's not dead. Yeah, okay, she's not dead. She's she not feeling well. She feels like she's dead. Yeah, she feels or like she's dead. Or dying, I should say. <clears throat> <laughs> and I guess dead people don't go, oh. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, it, no. <laughs> no. No. They have not, as far as I know, the dead have yet to reanimate. <laughs> yet. I'm not wearing my zombie shirt today. That's not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you are wearing a different shirt. Oh, yes. I, I haven't seen this shirt before. I have had this shirt since my mid-teenage years. And you still fit. <laughs> Apparently, I never grew up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just talking. I, I mean, you know, growing up and, and stuff like that, I used to have some really... Really good clothes, really nice clothes that I loved, mm -hmm. but there is no way. No way what? I could ever, ever fit in those again. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to I, tell I, you. I'd be doing a different show if I could fit it's in those. It's a t-shirt, man. It's just a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm talking about t-shirts. Uh-huh. It don't would know. be a different I show. I, I actually think it was big on me back in the day. Oh, probably. Maybe. But <laughs> So what does it say? I can't. It's my Star Trek trivia shirt from oh. back in the day. Okay. Can, can you see? It's got trivia times, questions there. How many times do two different Captain Kirks appear in episodes? Which two characters were each, were each married during the course of the series? How long will it take... 
Cyrano Jones. Cyrano Jones. <laughs> Cyrano Jones. To clean Space Station K-7. <laughs> who was the first commander of the Starship Enterprise and named Captain Kirk's brother? There you go. Look at that. I can't answer any of those. <laughs> it's okay. We I know. Still I'm disappointing our, our Trekkie <laughs> fans out there. It's all good. But I like Star good Trek. Play. It, it, it's, some, it's some good trivia questions for our audience out there. Yeah, show some But yeah, I, I've had this since like 95, I think. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was getting ready to graduate. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, you're older than dirt. I am. I am. Good morning, Mario. Hey, Hello. Mario says good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Don't forget to rewatch the beginning of the show. You missed the good stuff already. <laughs> now it's all downhill. <laughs> you know, you just jinxed us. Which is not good for a Friday. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to be, you know, Uh hitting up businesses again Uh and and stuff like that. Don't jinx us. I'm not jinxing nothing, man. (laughs) It's not Mercy Monday, so we should be okay. all downhill. Oh. (laughs) I meant the morning show. I wasn't talking about the day. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) So, uh, I'd like to bring up something that we ran into last night, which made me laugh. <clears throat> we did it behind the head on it. I think oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> remember, yeah. this is not the news station portion of No, this Elf is Man not the Head. news. <laughs> not the news. I mean, it is news, but it's not the unbiased news that you get on a nightly and daily basis. This is a different broadcast. This yeah. is like ABC broadcasting another, another show. Yeah, this is cheap <laughs> entertainment that we find hilarious. Pretty much. So last night we went down to McDonald's because we were here at the studio so late, and uh, we decided to go to McDonald's, which is very bad for your health. But yeah, you got to do what you got. Yeah, we're, we're we're trying to improve the quality of our life, but sometimes, well, the quality of our life takes yeah. takes a uh, it takes a brutal beating it, every it day. <laughs> it really does. Just, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and we try and fight back, but then we're like, no, no, please. <laughs> Anyway, so we went down to McDonald's and we figured we'd have to go through the drive-thru again because uh, for, for those of our audience that aren't in Paige, they were, uh, they were actually working on the dining room. They ripped the whole inside of McDonald's out yes. except for the drive-thru through section and decided to rebuild and redecorate. Which, okay, on a little caveat of that, uh, is, yeah. is rather interesting because if you haven't been to Paige, a lot of the companies do this right as the big big portion of tourist season yeah, I, I never and it's that. so weird it is weird <laughs> it's, it's like, like it's, hey, it's gonna be the busiest time of year <laughs> let's destroy everything and make it a pain in the neck to get through here what's going on <laughs> so yeah there there's that which yeah, yeah. i mean the timing of it was very very odd yeah it, it but, was. but not odd for Paige. yeah it's <laughs> It's normal. It's like, oh, hey, it's peak tourist season. Let's let's uh, let's rip raise up. the building to the ground and build a new one. Well, wasn't there a time where it was let's rip up the main boulevard? Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, that was a nightmare, man. It was a peak of tourist season. I'm like, oh, let's rip out the main boulevard. What? I understand. You need a four wheel drive to drive through that thing. I and and I understand. Um, there's there's um. You know, temperature variances and stuff that when it comes to asphalt and everything that yes. have to be taken into consideration. But you're talking freaking hundred, triple digit degrees uh-huh. in, yeah. in, in temperature outside. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so that affects it as well. Yep. So, it, I mean, when you were telling me about that, <laughs> I'm going, well, but wait a minute, it doesn't set properly. Yeah, and there, were, there was like an eight inch drop off where they were digging uh. the thing or more. And I remember there was actually some, there was other people on the internet and stuff that were posting about it, and they were talking about how bad of an experience they had here at Page because they were trying to drive and they messed up their cars because there's such a huge drop off there with rocks. I mean, it was, it was a nightmare. Wow. But anyway. Wow. So Sorry, I didn't mean to go on down that back road. Back to McDonald's here. Oh, we've got some comments here. Uh, Billy says, y'all going to Shop Toe today? There's a free event. We know about the free event. Unfortunately, no. We are stuck here. We would love to, yeah. but I have to uh, go out and get advertisers. Yes, we have to try and stay in business. So, unfortunately, this is one of the things I didn't want to happen with LPNN. I wanted to be able to focus on the news and networking and events. and events and bringing people together and doing all that kind of amazing stuff. And I didn't want to get bogged down into trying to find ways to fund the studio. 
Unfortunately, that has happened. So, like, 98% of our time is spent trying to find ways to fund the studio, right. and unfortunately, the other things get sacrificed. We still have to be able to pay the bills. we got bills just like everybody else. Yeah. And we've also got all of the businesses' bills that we've got to pay. So, unfortunately, we're trying to do that, and it is causing uh, the news and the entertainment side to suffer. Otherwise, we'd have more programming. We'd be at all kinds of different events. We just yep. don't have time between at trying to find businesses uh, to, to advertise with us. There are people like uh, like the great Karen who, uh, yeah. who actually helped uh, save uh, Freedom Studios. Thank you, so. thank you. Yes. We should have like now we have angel. to save the house. <laughs> yeah, we should have like an angel button. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> like call down the button. Like, right there. Yeah. <laughs> you do. I get a little spotlight right there. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> no? I am sorry I brought that yeah, up. Yeah, there it was. There it was. All right, so we got that off track again. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> McDonald's. All right, back to McDonald's. So, they had ripped out the whole dining. Well, you started this side track. <laughs> All right, so they ripped out the dining room of McDonald's. They've been remodeling it, doing the whole nine yards. And, well, everybody's been kind of, you know, well, maybe not everybody, but everyone's been waiting with bated breath, like, ooh, I wonder what's going to be in there now. <clears throat> and so we went down there last night expecting to go through the drive through but lo and behold, the dining room was open. Yes, it was. And so we're like, hey, we should probably go in there and we'll talk about it. I figured maybe do a behind the hat, be like, hey, check out the new dining room. And uh, we went into the new dining room, and there's some uh, there's some new stuff uh, located inside the McDonald's down there that I found kind of interesting. They've been talking about it, not just this McDonald's, but McDonald's, the corporation in general, for about a, putting in, well, it's been a few years. Yeah. Yeah, they've been talking about it, and apparently now we are part of the test market. They are putting out kiosks where you can go order stuff on a basically it's a giant cell phone or tablet and it's got big pretty pictures and you can scroll stuff and you push buttons and you can order all of your stuff right there. They got yeah, four of those things. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Neat. Yeah, it was really nice. We liked it. <clears throat> go there and perhaps you will get recognized. <laughs> I think Billy's telling us we need to go to Shanto and we may be able to find advertisers. <laughs> Well, we did say Freedom Studios, but uh, yeah. LP and then well, the vehicles out of gas. I'm so. gonna be on foot, so maybe you know. You gonna go hitchhiking down to Shanto? It, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I no. I, I'm anyway. beyond my hitchhiking days. <laughs> Anyway, so they have these really cool kiosks where you can order all of your food. Uh, we had some people that were concerned. They're like, well, isn't that going to cause confusion and stuff for the tourists? And, well, I don't think so. I, I honestly think it's going to be an amazing thing for tourists because that language barrier sometimes can be a big hassle and can be a big problem that with them trying to communicate what they want. This has a big screen with a picture. They're like, oh, I want this, I want this, and I want that. They I just have... poke it. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we walked in, and... There was a gal who came over because we, you know, I made a beeline for the kiosk. Okay. And um, there was this gal who came over and said, let me take your order. Like, I, and, I, I don't and need it's you to. Sort it's right there. It's right. a right. screen. And, and, and I'm going, the hmm, um, I, I think I know how to use this, even though I've never used one. I know. It's and, just like a cell so, phone. Like, you know, she, she <laughs> touched the first screen to open it up. Yeah. And from there, I took over. And I had never used it. And I'm going, It's oh, very intuitive. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> and it's fun having like a four-foot-tall cell is. phone in your face. It's like, wee, I can drive this thing. Look at me go. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's really, sort of, it, it sort of makes me want... To get a kiosk of some sort for the studio. I know, just to do it, right? <laughs> Actually, I know a guy that sells those things, but man, are those for games, expensive. For games. <laughs> um, so, Gina says she's actually ordered from a kiosk in St. George. So, this area must be a test market. Uh, it could be, yeah. It could be. It could be. Um, uh, Dave says, is this McDonald's way of saying, go ahead and complain about wages? You can be replaced? You know, I wasn't going to mention that, but... Yeah, you know, I mean, on my, on my own personal opinion, we're going with, you know, Washington, California, New York, maybe. Um, well, McDonald's did threaten that. They said, look, we can't afford to pay you $15 an hour minimum wage, so we're going to replace you with a kiosk. We're going to see what happens. I don't know. 
Gina says um, the kiosks have actually been around for a while, so I'm cool. thinking well, maybe wait, it's yeah. just a straight rollout and it's not a test market. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Uh, I have no idea. All I do know is now we have them here in Page, yes. Arizona. Yes. And yeah. in all honesty, and I understand, I, I, I really do, um, mm-hmm. uh, the, the employees that we came across last night were not happy. Yeah, they seemed kind of grumpy about the kiosks. They did. They did. <laughs> and I mean, I can understand well. that because you're being replaced by automation. Right. But but it does it, allow them to focus more on customer service, which which is one was of the things apparent that, doing, that yes. they were not thrilled about, though. Oh. Um, because I I was you know I I tend to rather observe and be a wallflower than than get into the okay. mix of things and whatnot. And so I, I watch people, and there were a few of the employees that were just grumbly having to take the the, oh, yeah. well, the that's, food out we, we to didn't the mention customers. That. Yeah, that's one of the things that they have with the kiosks. They've got these uh, they've got these like number tents, <clears throat> and when you make your order, you take a number and you go set it on your table, and then the employees actually bring it out to the yeah, table. Yeah, like floor. Carl's Jr. has. Uh, yeah, kind of like they, that. Yeah. They've had those for. I think since the inception of Carl's Jr. Yeah, sure. something like that. It's been um, around for a while, but it, it, is, it is interesting that, you know, that's yeah. they're, they're, it looks like McDonald's is trying to focus more on customer service. Yes. And so, you know, that's an and interesting thing for a fast food restaurant. It, it is. It is. And, <clears throat> I, you know, I love, I love Carl's Jr. Hey, anyone from Carl's Jr. or Hardee's? You can start advertising. Yeah, right. um, <laughs> Carl's Jr. Bring one here. No Hardee's. Uh, I want Carl's Jr. <laughs> Hardee's is the same. No. They're just they two separated. different. separated. Right, but oh. I mean, if you go to where Hardee's is, the I want Carl's are... Jr. You remember those commercials? I want to film one of those commercials. Those were amazing. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? What? Uh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> no, we're not going there. Um, oh, come on! <laughs> it's about the burgers. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> yes, the, the burgers. Stop. <laughs> Used in my own office. <laughs> she hit me. So, um, you derailed up? my oh. train. <laughs> oh. Now she's trying to hit me across the head. Oh, no. You did. You derailed my train. Where was I going with that? Um, with Carl's Jr. Oh, um, ha- you know, having that experience with Carl's Jr. and the employees bringing out the food, I, I honestly think it gives it a a better element Mm -hmm. um, to the service than just sitting there, or not sitting, but standing in line, Mm -hmm. hanging out, sort of loitering, I guess, while you're waiting for your order. Yeah, that is interesting. It gets people out of the front of the store so that they can process more. It does. Mm -hmm. And then you get that personal human interaction. Mm -hmm. And And that's always nice. It is. And so, I mean, I'm a little torn on this. Regarding you know the loss of jobs, mm-hmm. but I do like the fact that McDonald's has gone this direction for better customer service. Yeah, that is, it's an interesting direction to it, take. It a really fast is. Joint is you know about customer service. I like it. It sort of reminds cool. uh, what, what's the movie Demolition Man? Was it Demolition Man? I don't know. What, um, what, you have to explain ta- what it, where Taco Bell won the. Yes, that was wars. Demolition Man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Be well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, fast food wars, yeah. and so they were talking about going to Taco Bell, and, and Taco Sylvester Bell. Stallone's character was like, oh, "Yes, Taco Bell," and then it ends up being a five star restaurant. He's like, "What?" <laughs> and everything's illegal. No salt. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's bad for you. Hence, it's illegal. Uh, right. So um, I, I see. I, I see the fast food uh, industry sort of mm-hmm. going that direction with this. Challenge. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Billy brings up a good point. He says fifteen dollars an hour is still a poverty wage. Yes, it is. However, when it comes to the fast we food did restaurant, talk about yeah. this last night. Yeah, the the problem is if you increase the wages to fifteen dollars an hour, it increases the price of everything that's in the store and so everybody has to pay more money and everyone has less money and it causes a ripple effect throughout the whole economy so fifteen dollars an hour you know i mean yes it's still a poverty wage but what are you gonna do you know there has to be some kind of solution making a mandatory minimum wage i honestly don't think is the solution what is the solution i don't know I mean, I, I'm not, the, you know, I, we could sit here and work on a I, problem. I'm just I know saying, what this, I, I, I have ideas for a solution. Well, we do, but this isn't a political show. It, no, so. no, most aren't <clears throat> to that 
And I and, and he says fifteen dollars an hour is a poverty wage. Man, if I was making fifteen dollars an hour, I'd be living like a freaking king. I, I know, you. right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> The, the amount of money I made last year is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I always manage to make it work. Oh, well, we do. We do. Yeah. Which is which is. I nice. am very frugal. In other words, I'm a cheap ass. <laughs> Watch your language. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be kid-friendly as well. <laughs> it's called a Reagan effect. I don't know that. Oh, that trickle term. down economics. Trickle oh, up okay. economics. It's all kinds okay. of stuff. Yeah, work your way up and out. Yes, Gina, that's that would be my thing, you know. I mean, it's an entry-level position designed for high school students and stuff like that. Unfortunately, when you're in an isolated economy yes. like Page, you can work yeah. your way in, up, and there's nowhere to go because it's all yeah. service-based industry. It so is. what do you do? Eh? Um, <clears throat> let's see. It you makes get a, for an interesting conundrum. I, well, I'm so going political here. Oh, so man. you Woo! said what can you do? You get a brand new council. Oh, that oh, helps. Yeah. That helps bring in new businesses and new industry. So you do, you have a balance between your service industry and another industry. Well, <laughs> well, well. So uh, for those of you that didn't know, Lois is running for council. <laughs> yeah, look at you making cheap plugs for yourself on the morning show. No, actually, it wasn't a cheap <laughs> plug for myself. It was just a plug for. We have elections going on. Yep, we do. And there are what five, six spots on the council. One six. of those yep. is the mayor. Yep. And uh, that many people can, if you get new people into every single one of those, it could you make can a huge change. Difference. I mean, we need everything. some serious economic development going on here. I don't know. We'll have to look and see what's going 36 on. Thirty-six an hour in Vegas and Cali. That's because they know what they're doing. Well, not only that, <laughs> but. Oh, okay, so he says he makes $36 yeah. an hour. and it's hour. the businesses. Okay, so here in Page, there is almost no industry at all mm -hmm. except for service, which is all entry-level positions. So right. no one can, I mean... That's what I mean. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, like well, it's Vegas, also a lot bigger. Like Vegas has um, uh, um, embraced the tourism and the casino and their their city understands how it all right. works. But you're also and talking done, a, an issue you know, of scale, okay? That is true. I mean, Page is like this, this big, big compared, compared to Vegas. Vegas. Vegas is like, bam! Yeah, I don't, I, I mean, unless we get a high-tech, like massive high-tech, like mm -hmm. Google or somebody like that, into page, I don't foresee well, you anything know, being anywhere near you bring that up. an hour. You, you bring that up. Um, what is it? Uh, just south of Salt Lake City. We reported right. this on the news the right. other day. Facebook. Facebook is building a 1 million square foot data center just outside of Salt Lake City. It's like but that's still not south. page. I know, that's but a it's bit of a drive. It's still really cool. That's, I'm just saying. That's longer than when I was commuting to the Bay Area. Well, you're going for the council. Tell Facebook to come down here. <laughs> <laughs> and that way our stuff will work even better. I did not mean to go down the political aisle yeah. here. <laughs> I see Billy says, vote blue. Well, you know what? Make an informed voting decision yeah. and just vote. Here in Page, on the it's, last elections, we had like 500 people vote yeah. in a town of 8,000. So get off your duff. Get registered to vote. Get yourself informed, and then go and vote what you think you needs to be done. And the nice thing is, in Page, it's <clears throat> um, nonpartisan. No one is, every single person for the council, uh -huh. mayor and council members. Um, oh, they don't have it, like, divided. I think that's what causes a lot of problems in the country. It's like, well, I'm on this side, and I'm on this side. We're like, you know what? We're all Americans. Let's try and work it together right. and figure and, out a and solution. And that's why I like yeah. the nonpartisan yeah. aspect of it because it shouldn't matter what side as long as your views, uh, your personal views match those of those running. Right, right. You know, it, it, in all honesty. Yeah. So but either way, you know, register to vote, get informed on the issues, and, uh, you know. Yeah. Get, get out there and have your voice heard. That's one of the right. reasons we started LPNN to begin with, to help voice. inform people so that you could find out what's going on and make it all better. Are what we... does our little thing say? Because it's cut off over here. Uh, what thing? What are you looking at? The Morgan Freeman thing. Oh, the Morgan Freeman. I'm changing Freeman. gears. <laughs> all right, all right. It says, it's supposed to be fun, not political. All right, so the Morgan Freeman thing says, Hello, I'm Morgan Freeman. Today is Friday. You just read that in my voice, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. I love it. TGAF. Love it. Ah! Woo yes. <laughs> and Freedom Studios has been given a reprieve. Yes. Momentarily. 
Excuse me, yes. Now we have to save the house. <laughs> one, one thing at a time, right? Yeah. 198,000 people in 30 days. 31 Holy days. Heck. 31 days. All because of you that's, guys. That's amazing. Ah! All right, that well, is amazing. We, we talked about it. that at the beginning. Make sure yeah. you guys like, share, and comment, because holy cow, you're yes. epic. I mean, wow. It's all because That's of our amazing. audience. Without, without our audience, we got nothing. So, uh, Well, that is true. Yeah. I mean, it's all due to you guys Just like out every there. business out there. Yeah. It's all without about you, the consumer. Yeah. Without you, we got nothing. You guys are amazing. We love you. Thank you. For a second, I had a bit of a heart attack. Oh, Because I can't I... see... I can't see the bottom. Okay. Uh, oh, you thought the microphone was off the whole time? I thought the microphone was off this entire time. No, no, no. I didn't do that. <laughs> hey, it wouldn't surprise me. It's happened before. Just not this long. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think somebody would have mentioned something and not been commenting on what we were talking well, about. Well, that is so. true. That is true. <laughs> They're like, hey, sound problem. You know, not, not even one cup yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so, so we, we, we've gone through a few things here. <coughs> oh boy, here we go. <coughs> Die quietly, please. <coughs> so while while he is uh, trying not to I die, I coffee. Okay, you're <coughs> not supposed to do that. I know. All right, never mind then. Go. <coughs> what? So you said we've. Got oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Now that we've gone through all of the uh, all of the weirdness that I have, what do you have for the morning show today? <laughs> Now that we're getting to the yes, to that pizza aspect, pizza fairy. What do you got? Ah. I have a bunch of oh things. Oh my! Goodness. I need this trans that is transitioned horrifying. over. All right, give me just a second. I'll do it. You're gonna have to talk to them while I get so, it over. So, I came across this, and I, you know, I'm all for to each their own. Okay, but what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? Oh, oh, definitely. Oh my! Um, I and and you can. Yeah, cover the link there because that's yeah, for just something else. Give me a um, second. I'm working. But on. it just. Uh, <laughs> I have no words for this other than. What? What? <laughs> Say Excuse me. What? And apparently, this is starting there to be go. a trend. <laughs> it's called the mankini. <laughs> just. No. <laughs> just. Okay. No. Uh, pretty much. Just and and more for you if you decide to do this. But no, I just I could not. Number one. Okay. In, it hurts in, my eyes, it, man. It, it does. <laughs> I mean, I realize it's summer and and well, technically spring, but it feels like freaking summer. Um. But no. No. <laughs> I Did don't you have know. anything else you wanted to this say about is, it otherwise, other than, yes. no. This is a hold my beer moment. Yeah, here, hold my beer while I get a man. Yeah. <laughs> and so my question is, in, in one of the pictures, you can tell that um, he, she's she's actually using uh, clippers. Oh, there's a she back there. I, yeah. I can't get past the man. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, God, it hurts. No. Oh, my eyes. This would be a perfect place, Waldo. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a person back there. Where? Oh, oh I can't see. Oh. So uh, my question is, is if if you decided to do this. It ain't happening. I'll tell you that much right now. About the men out there. Um, w- would you rather shave mm-hmm. or have it waxed? What, to have the design put Yes. In? Neither, because I would was, never do that. I said it's it. It's horrifying. It, I mean, it just, I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay. No. Um, no. I, I understand fashion. It's You call that fashion? That's not actually a bikini. I, you know that, right? I, I do. I do. Um, but I was thinking like, um, oh, Elton John's uh, Benny and the Jets. Where uh, she's the moleskin or uh, I have the boots? No idea what you're okay. talking about. Anyway, <laughs> so you've got a lot of things that have fur for um, females. Okay. So, and you have like Chewbacca costumes. Yeah, but then things of that no, nature. No, this is not but the same. Why not? No. Mm-mm. Why? Nope. Why not use your own body hair? No. It, oh. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I, I mean, just, if you look at the guy that's there on uh, on the on the left side there, well, our left is probably there, right? So he has he's got like a handlebar kind of mustache. It actually looks it like goes it goes down. into the mankini it and it's does. holding it up. 
I mean, and if you look closely, I think it actually goes all the way down his neck into the actual thing. We there. have, we have, oh, we have comments. comments. All right, hold on, let me see. Hold let me on. See. How do I get over there to you, scroll up? You don't worry about that. I will get this. I will get this. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, keep going. Oh, gee, Alan. <laughs> oh, Billy uh, says your co-anchor <laughs> is hot. Why? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Hey, Lois, you have an admirer. <laughs> Gina you, says, Dad. no! Yeah, yes, I'm going I, with, she's I'm talking going about with this me. disaster. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, and then Kimber says, oh, wow, I don't know. But apparently she likes it. I No, I don't like it. I'm saying to each their own. <laughs> Gina's like, oh, that's where I'm at. <laughs> but if you think about it. No, uh, no I don't on. want to hold think on. about it. <laughs> <laughs> If you no. think about this, though, uh-huh. okay, this could actually save on money for um, for for going out and getting a bathing suit. If you just look, I am your- a cheap person. <laughs> <laughs> this is too far. This is taking it too far. This, no. I right, see. So we got what else? Kimber says all of them. No, absolutely. I'm on your side. She's crazy. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> Dave says, bet you could raise some funding to get Chris <laughs> out of my No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Thank no, you no. very much, Dave. Be like, oh, I'm 60. Oh. <laughs> I, I I'm actually don't think 60. you have enough. No, probably not. I, I don't think you have enough. Yeah, so we'd have to get him to donate the hair to glue on it, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then we wax it off. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you just said yeah. No, no. <laughs> Gina's like, right, Dave. Billy says, oops, I'm working on high voltage stuff later. <laughs> Billy, I guess that pay was attention, his, please. I guess that was for his comment earlier. It's all good. I've blown myself up with high voltage. You didn't. Did Somebody you? else yeah, did. I know. We'll get into that story later. Keep your hands off the electronics. I can't see this. <laughs> <laughs> William says I can't unsee this. That's okay, you can very get your transition off. They're dead sexy. Oh, I. We're gonna go to. S- oh, you're horrible. Hey, stop. You don't even know what you're. Let me get out of this here. There you go. I do now know what I'm do. doing. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's why I'm the one that has to do this stuff. Uh huh. It's my job. Otherwise you're trying to I make yourself. <laughs> I was gonna say you're trying to make yourself viable. Oh. <laughs> Aw. Everybody's so mean. You know we like you. Nobody so, loves me. I'm going to go eat worms. We need to uh, transition that one. Oh, oh, you want that over there? Yes, please. All right. Give me just a second. You're going to have to start talking because mm. every time you do this, I have to do I a know. procedure. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All right. This what is why we do it to you. Um, so the more you do it, the more we know how to do it. Uh, <laughs> no, i so, got to be able to stay at work here. <laughs> this is actually, um, we were ta- We said that last one was a hold my beer moment. <laughs> and uh, here's the beer that you should be holding, yes? Uh, no, nope. actually, oh, okay. um, here, this is from a brewery in Florida, and it's called Saltwater Brewery. And what they have done is they're trying to address the issue of the plastic, um, the plastic rings that hold beer cans together. Oh, okay. And the yeah, fact yeah, yeah. that they're getting into the waters and it's, affecting, uh, right? Okay, okay. okay, but you know they're trying to address that issue. They have created this carrier that is edible. Wait, you can eat it? You can eat it. <laughs> so, uh, no. Do you have any idea how many hands have touched that thing before it gets to you? <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to eat some of this. Mm. Oh, what is that? <laughs> is it got something in my teeth? Oh, yeah. And they're, they, What does it um, taste like? Okay. We're scrolling. Everybody else can I, see I know, I know. Here. So... Um, it's made of wheat and barley. <laughs> so to go with your, oh my goodness, <laughs> to go with your uh, beer, you okay, can okay. you can um, um, have uh, eat the rings. Okay. Um, so you're. What not, does it taste like? Like chips, beer nuts, what? Not a clue. But it, it I, I would actually like to try it just to find out. But. You can either eat them if you want, or when you throw them away, or you can. The animals um, can eat them. Well, not only that, but they're biodegradable, okay. unlike the plastic ones. Yeah, and so you don't have, cool. yeah, and so you don't have the issue of 
of the animals getting caught in them okay. because right. it will, you know, in theory, dissolve in the water and, and things of that nature. All right. So, I'll give um, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm actually really thrilled about that. I just don't want to think the whole edible thing. It's like, no. <laughs> I mean, you've got, it's made at the factory, then it's put on the cans, then it has to be shipped. People are touching them. Then it has to go to the store, and then people are touching them to put them on the shelves. And then there's people shopping, and they pick them up and put them down. You don't know how many fingers have been in that can of beer or on the... <laughs> no, 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 no. Very bad. <laughs> Do not eat. Do not eat. <laughs> so, Gina says that was worse than the man bun. Yes, definitely worse than a man bun. Although the man bun, that's like a whole epic fail unto itself right it's there. Depending on the person. No. I'm sorry, but nope. Momoa looks darn sexy. Oh, yeah, she's got a... Th- <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Jason Momoa. Right? Yes, yeah, my, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, I like him, looks, too. He's really cool, but you've got, like, looks, a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so do. you got a thing I have for a the thing. Jason Momoa. Um, but oh, he, he looks good with, with a, a man bun. Yeah. Okay, so apparently so, there are some people that can pull it off. Yes. The mankini? Most cannot. The mankini? <laughs> no. Well, imagine Jason Momoa and a mankini, really? Actually, I don't think... No. Yeah, no. Just no. No. Nope. Don't I don't think, think anybody can, can pull that mess off. And Gina says, fish can eat it. Yes. Yes, they fish can. can eat it. Yes, that's a good thing. It's better yeah, than plastic. Yeah, it is better than plastic. <laughs> which is uh, which is great. I, I yeah, love yeah. that concept. Mm-hmm. I mean, whether it's edible or not, you know, the fact that it is biodegradable... And um, we'll see if, if that ends if it up catches taking on. on. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't come up with something like this prior, haven't they? Because mm-hmm. I know those stupid plastic things have been a problem since, like, the 80s. They have been. <clears throat> but, but I thought they um, fixed it with something, didn't they? I, apparently not. Or maybe this is just this company's approach at doing it. It probably is. All right. But All right. either way, you go, guys. That is that is epic. Um Let's see, uh, Dave says, how often do you wash the can or bottle you drink out of, Chris? All of those workers and peoples touch that, too. Actually, quite often. He but, does. Uh, <laughs> he actually wipes them down before he does. Yeah, because I know how many fingers <laughs> have been on that thing. Well, at least I can guess. Unlike the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> what can like, I say? Hey, I'm whatever. a little weird. I am wearing a Star Trek trivia shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit odd. <laughs> you are. You are. But we like you ever more for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, I have another one for okay. you. Okay, And this one I found rather interesting. You're, like, squashing and me over. Good. <laughs> Stay on your side of the line. So what there, on earth? <laughs> there is um, a gentleman who has been working on, on short movies for the last, couldn't even tell you how long, um, several years actually and he is in England okay. and he has created a 27 minute 27 minute movie called The Moment. Okay. And what he has done is he is <clears throat> I say that doesn't sound very epic because right. we make an hour long show every morning. He's right. only got 27 minutes. But he has integrated um, advanced technology into the movie and Like Steven Spielberg technology? No, I think it's actually like um, Hawking technology. <laughs> Hawking, like Hawking radiation technology. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, so what what it is is you actually have um, a headset on while wearing this, mm-hmm. and it's called a NeuroSky MindWave headset. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little concerned Sky here. <laughs> and uh, and so so you, you become can, part of the matrix. You can actually control the film with your mind. In what way? Well, what happens is what he has done is he's he's taken three different versions and scenarios of the movie okay. and put them together. But how your brain waves are perceiving what's going on in the movie will okay. adjust because it's a subjective how, experience. Okay, yeah, right. will adjust how and what you are seeing and feeling. So it, it goes. Huh. Yeah, it, it's so it changes the way the movie actually goes depending on how you feel about it. It does, it does, That's and it, it is interesting, a little freaky. Yeah, just it saying. Is a little freaky. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. But um, one of the um, one of the things that they were talking about was right now it's on limited release over in Nottingham, England. Nottingham. Uh, yes. Nottingham. And <laughs> they have six people that are watching it, and only one is wearing the headset. Okay. And so that one 
is being is able to adjust how the movie is being played, huh. and you can either do it consciously or subconsciously. Really? Yes. Okay, that's kind of cool. And, and it is really interesting, and huh. like I said, freaky. Well, um, yeah. So yeah, it's it, I I do have the trailer, but I don't know if we can play it. It may be trademarked, so we may yeah, get nailed gonna, again. We're having <laughs> issues with trademarks. <laughs> we me. played that that video the other day where we had the the Cinderella car that had the the huge engine that was seventy miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that was copyrighted, so YouTube didn't like us talking about it, even though it falls well in the fair use thing. Whatever. So the what the, do do? the director <clears throat> and creator of this, his name is Richard Ramchurn. Ram churn, huh? I, I, so he's I'm, ram churning that I'm, butter. I'm probably chopping that last name. <laughs> um, and now it looks like ram churn. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Not really much wiggle room in that one. But he's saying because of <clears throat> the fact that you can adjust it with your brain waves, uh-huh. um, there's probably uh, trillions of different scenarios that can be played out. Right, but okay, so I understand where he's going with this, okay? But I'm going to go to a practical standpoint. For each one of those trillions of things, each one of those scenarios has to be filmed in advance so that it can be projected on the screen. So there's only so many variables and scenarios you can put out in one movie or you're going to be filming for the rest of eternity just to do one movie. It's just not happening. No, no, (laughs) here's... Okay, um, I'm looking for it again. And because we talked about other stuff, I forgot. Excuse me. Go figure. Um, Well, it happens. I I know, right? Uh, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But it was near the bottom. Um, And this was actually from MIT Technology Review. Okay. uh, Where they were talking about this. Okay, okay, okay. And um, they're they're obviously intrigued by it. Yeah. And I am not finding... Okay, well, we'll look into it later, because yeah. it's just kind of dragging on here now. So. Sorry. Hey, wow. Okay, here saying. we go. So, um, it, it, the at, what oh, oh, oh. the article says is, at any given point, the film is switching back and forth between two of its three narrative threads. Okay. Which follow three characters who interact throughout the movie. Okay. And... Um, uh, Ramchurn had to create three times as much footage. Well, yeah, because there's three different storylines. And gather six times as much audio. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's just for three different narratives. Right. If you go into the trillions, you're hosed, man. Well, no, he's talking um, the different possibilities be, um, because through, from the beginning to the end, mm-hmm. you can change what's going on based on your brainwaves. Right, but like I said, there's only so, so there's much stuff probably... that you can film for variables. It's just the way it works. Well, that's true, <laughs> that's true. But let's say there's a happy moment in one, mm-hmm. and you're not liking it, and it'll switch over. Okay. And so, but it'll switch back for somebody else. Yeah, but else. you have to actually, when you're doing that, you'll have to film each section of those for a different thing. You're going to, I mean, that's a lot of different ways to switch back. Like, well, I, I don't like that. So this. That, it's an interesting it, it idea. It is, it is. And, and afterwards, <clears throat> um, because more than likely it is copyrighted, um, oh, yeah, afterwards I would love to see the trailer for it and yeah. see, you know, how, how it works out. Um, that is interesting. Let's see. So there was that one. I, 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 I wonder, I, we have oh, some things over here. Do. Uh, Billy says California recycles. Well, yeah, of course California recycles, and so do most other states. Um, but what I want to point out is we covered this in the news last night. China has actually stopped purchasing recycled plastics. Uh, 24 are, types. Yeah, 24 types of recycled plastics from the United States and the rest of the world. And our stuff here in Arizona and all across the country yep. fall into that category. And so that stuff is either going to be going back into landfills or they're going to have to find another way to process it because China said, Mm-mm, we're done. Yeah, they're actually trying to <clears throat> clear up their um, smog problem. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know. Not even touching That's that going to be an issue. Yeah, um, so anyway, uh, Phoenix is looking into creating some kind of thing where they can either recycle it, turn it into fuel or something yeah. like that, which is actually kind of neat. But, uh, you know, a lot of states do recycle. We definitely recycle here. But the plastics are actually going to be a huge problem pretty yeah, much uh, as of today because today is the date for that thing. Which, so. which actually is really interesting because China um, sent the World Trade Organization yeah. mm-hmm. this notice last year. Yeah, and, and today's now, the day. And now um, the U.S. and other countries are freaking out. Well, yeah, because they didn't think it was going to stick. <laughs> and then but, here we are. But it's yeah. like, it's like um, they announced it 
They said, we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. You have till here, this date. (laughs) Pretty much, pretty much. (laughs) So, yeah, that that, that, that one sort of made me giggle. Like, um, you had a year. Yeah, pretty much. But whatever, (laughs) we didn't hear about it. So apparently the news just didn't get spread out enough. Yeah, that is true. That is true. All right, so, <laughs> are we done? Yeah, I yeah, think so. I hear you. Uh, on uh, on that amazing <laughs> note those tones. of recycling technology, we're gonna go ahead and uh, and call it a day. We'd like to give another shout out to Karen Thank for you. saving Freedom Thank Studios. You. We'll see if we, we can't manage to save everything else uh, by the end of the week. Keep your fingers crossed. Get those yes. businesses together yes. out there. Terry's gonna be out wandering around trying to I find am. stuff. So uh, thank you guys so much for commenting, liking, and sharing this because this month, 198,000, or last month, last month. 198,000 people. As of, uh, what, 11.59 last night? Yeah, as of midnight last night, 198,000 people in one month saw our content because of you guys. You guys are amazing. We love you to death. It's just, I'm blown away. So am I. I really am. It's great. So it's we'll uh, we'll catch you guys later uh, on with the behind the hats maybe it, or what? yeah I was gonna say it, it's humbling it is I it, just, it is very I don't humbling. even know what to say we saw the stats and it was like what so unbelievable yes, so yes. thank you guys very much and uh, I think it's time for some Rupert what do you think I I love Rupert you want to see some Rupert yes. all right everybody we'll catch you on the next one have fun have a wonderful day and weekend. Oh, yeah, and we can. (laughs) It is Friday. (laughs) Bye. Bye.